Hi guys and welcome to another video of the basics of Illustrator. Uh, first of all, let me apologize for the long absence. This course was not completed by me for a long time and the rest few of its videos I had created earlier on but then I sort of got busy with other stuff in my life. Um, but now I'm back after a long absence and I hope you guys will forgive me and I will complete this course and a few very other exciting courses are also coming to courses which are nowhere else found on the net and if they are found they are really hefty priced but here on my channel they are totally free and people are selling the same stuff I tell you or sometimes even of lesser quality on other places for uh, very high prices so for providing you all these courses for free I just have a small request to like share and subscribe the channel thank you very much in advance for doing so so now let's get down to business today we will learn about different panels of illustrator we will learn what panels are and what properties they have so let's get started illustrator has many panels to work with efficiently and easily depending on your workspace many will be displayed like these ones in my workspace but if there is any panel you don't see here or it was present earlier and now you have accidentally clicked it off then you can easily find it under the windows drop down menu all the panels of illustrator can be found here you just have to simply click on it and it will open up let's look at some of the panels in my workspace to study the properties as an example if i click on one of the panels they will open up like this you can see different things in here let's let me start from the right side you can see three lines in a row if you click them an additional flyout menu will open up relating to that panel depending on which panel is open different options will be displayed here to the left side of the three lines two small arrows are given and their function is to close the panel further left color guide is written but we will talk about that later to the left corner the name of the panel is given since it is a color panel so you can change the color of any object from here next to the panel name small up and down arrows are given if you click them they will expand the current panel you are working in as you can see more properties of the same panel are displayed different panels have different levels a short one and an extended one with more options now let's look at the next panel that is dot alongside the color panel and that is this color guide and if you click on it its own properties will be displayed like this this panel also have different levels a concise one and an extended one these two panels are shown like this side by side because they are nested together you can easily change their arrangement by adding or removing a panel from one row of nested panels if i click and drag on this panel like this i can take it out and now it's called a floating panel sometimes working in illustrator you need to open different panels like this to work more efficiently and speedily because you don't have to open and close a panel again and again every time you need it now if i wanted to put the panel back at its place or anywhere else i just need to drag the panel onto the panels column and a blue line like this will indicate where i can put this panel i can put it back where i took it from or i can place it somewhere else for the time being i will just put it back where it was you can arrange panels and their rows in whatever way that is convenient for you other than these panels some panels issue commands like this stroke panel if i open it and expand it i can change the properties of the stroke line by changing its thickness for example You can also change its profile and other properties if you would like to do so from here. Other than the command panel, there are panels that store things. For example, the swatches panel. It is filled with different color swatches and you can add more swatches to it if you like to. For example, if you come across one of my illustrations on the web or someone else's designs and you really like the color combination that they had used, well you can easily copy that colors and store it here for later use command panels have some extra options which are not found in other panels let's take a look at the bottom of the panel you can delete the item of that panel you can create a new items in it you can make a group of different items of that panel 
There are some other options that we will study later on in the course as we move along. One of the most important option that is given in the commands panel is this library option which lets you access different stored items relating to that particular panel. For example, if I click on it, a number of different brushes are shown here which I can then apply to my stroke by clicking on it like so. There is also a symbol panel. You might have seen it in my previous videos on how to use its content and we will study all about these panels extensively later on in our course. But for now that's it about the basics of panels in Illustrator on how to find them and how to open them. I hope you are a little bit more clear about the concept of panels in Illustrator after watching this video. But if you still have any questions you can ask me about it in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can because I always reply to all my comments albeit sometimes a little late for which I apologize. Okay that's it for now. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.